Now, let's say you have this event sometime in your life. Between that point and death, even though you break some of God's laws, you still have that perfect record in heaven because you're forgiven. Isn't that good? And when you die, you come before God at judgment, and He says, Welcome into heaven, my beautiful sons and daughters. I love you. And you say, But God, I broke your laws. Shouldn't I be punished and go to hell? And Jesus says, No way. I paid that punishment for you when I died on the cross. I gave you my perfect record that day when you turned and surrendered your life to me. Welcome into heaven. Isn't that beautiful? (laughs) Jesus has done something for us we could never do for ourselves. That's why he's a real hero. Now, the last part of this is a bit more serious. Say you never had that event sometime in your life and you died. You would come before God at judgment. Here you go. And, you, and he would look at you and start to cry and say, I'm sorry, I really love you, but I can't let you into heaven. You don't have a perfect record. I have to be just and send you to hell. I loved you so much, I tried six ways to get through to you. Firstly, I died on the cross for you. Secondly, I sent Stu Miller along to AGMF at 7.14 on the 16th of April, 2006. And he explained to you why I died on the cross and how you could be forgiven. (laughs) Thirdly, I gave you a conscience so you'd know right from wrong. Fourthly, there were good churches in the area that you lived. You could have found out about me through them. Fifthly, I created a world so beautiful, it was impossible not to know that I was there. And finally, I rose from the dead to prove that I was God and that everything I said and did in the Bible was true. And yet you just did nothing. I'm sorry. I can't let you into heaven. I have to send you to hell. Now, I want you to do one thing for me this evening, and that's this. Please be honest. If everything I've told you tonight is true, and it is, because it's exactly what the Bible says, which has never been found wrong in 2,000 years, then what about you? If you were to die tonight, where would you go? Heaven or hell? Now, that's an incredibly searching question. Some of you tonight may be thinking, oh my goodness, I don't think I'd be going to heaven. That would be a tragedy for that to happen. God wants you into heaven and he's made a way for every single person to get there. I'm going to take you through a quick review because I want everyone to really understand this tonight. According to the Bible, what kind of a record do you need to have to get into heaven? You're on to it. Now, there's only two ways to get a perfect record. One is to be a perfect person, and we've all blown that one. The only other way to get a perfect record is by Jesus giving us his perfect record. Watch this. Nice. And the only way to receive that perfect record from Jesus is to have that third major event we talked about in our lives. Now, can you remember the two things that we need to do to have that event? The first one was to be willing to turn away from everything that we know to be wrong and to surrender our lives to Jesus Christ. If a person turns and surrenders to Jesus, they can be absolutely certain they're going to heaven. But without that event in your life, it is literally impossible to get into heaven. And that, my friends, is so sad. Folks, when you came in tonight, each one of you would have received a booklet like this. Now, this is a gift from you, to you at Easter time. This booklet here, it's called The Passion of the Christ, because the movie, a lot of you would have seen, was about Jesus dying on the cross, but this book explains why Jesus died onto the cross, on the cross. It goes through the presentation I've brought to you this evening, and the middle part, it shows you how to be forgiven, how to turn and surrender. If, you're, if you haven't had that event, I would encourage you to read this section on how to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. It goes through seven hard attitudes. And if you're right with God in these seven hard attitudes, there's a prayer you can pray. You can do this on your own, just you and God, or you can do it with a friend. But make sure you have this event where you surrender your life to Jesus. We're talking about the whole of eternity, not just a mere billion years. This is forever. This is an incredibly important decision. 
The last part talks about how your life changes after you become a Christian, like what God does for you, how he changes you, and helps you understand a bit more about who you are and why you do some of the things you do. Now, there's a website on the back. If you've got any questions, there's a website called answersaboutlife.com. It answers questions like, what about all the other religions? How can I know the Bible really is true? And so it's a fantastic website. There's also my details in there. If you want to contact me, you can email me and uh, let me know what you think of the book or if you have questions, I'd love to hear from you. God bless you for listening tonight. I'm going to pray to finish. Father, I thank you for sending Jesus to earth to die on the cross for us, to pay the punishment in our place that we might be able to be forgiven and receive eternal life, receive a perfect record. Lord, we can't thank you enough for that. I want to pray for anyone here this evening that doesn't know you as their personal friend, that hasn't surrendered their life to you, that, God, you would move on their heart through your Holy Spirit and you would bring them to that place of giving their life over to you. I pray for anyone here tonight who has made that decision but has slipped back in that decision, that you would use tonight, Lord, just to kickstart them back into following you with all their heart. I pray, Father, for anyone here who, who has turned and surrendered to you, that you would give each person courage to be able to share the gospel, your good news, with those around us. Lord, you're a good God. You're an awesome God. And it's a privilege to know you and live for you. Praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.